Well, I'm retired, but I work part-time for North Kissimmee School District, delivering food to the schools and materials, food service. Loaded, loaded my truck, is getting ready to leave, walk back into the central kitchen there to get something out of the cooler, and it's the last thing I remember. I, I dropped to the floor. <laughs> the ladies in the kitchen, they called 911, and one of the ladies ran over and got my boss, Dan Blazer. Uh, my secretary came in and alerted me that uh, Perry had uh, fallen, and it looked as if he was having seizures. I got up from my office and I walked briskly to next door. Uh, on my way over, um, it came to my mind is, is that he's probably not having seizures, that he probably had, uh, since he'd had heart surgery the year before, that he was probably having some heart problems. I've had CPR training and Dan had had it before and that's why he reacted the way he did right quickly. The instinct of the training that I'd had several years ago in providing CPR, it just kicked in. I didn't even really think too much about it. I just knew that he needed help and I could tell that it was working because I could tell that color came back into his face, that he was starting to try to breathe on, him, on his own if I stopped at any point in time. Dan and Mary, I owe, owe my life to them and you know, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here right now. So to be with my grandkids and my wife and my two wonderful sons, so. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that what Mr. Blazer did uh, directly impacted his outcome. We still may have been able to get him to turn around because of how quick we were there and how early it was recognized, but often you won't see the quality of outcome when there is nothing between us being called and then somebody being revived. My f personal feeling is as if Medic One had not arrived he would have been in serious trouble. Mr. Blazer and Ms. Hastings um, and our entire kitchen staff that were working that day, they were all part of the response team in that emergency situation and we're very proud of them and how they reacted and the key is that they reacted and that saved his life. Um, I don't know that I look at it as being a hero in those types that we would think of, of somebody who's in the military for instance who really goes out and helps save lives and uh, protects our well-being. Um, I just never put it in that perspective before. Yeah, I think I, they, everybody should take the CPR class. And I, being a recipient of it, it works. You know, I wouldn't be here today talking to you guys if I wasn't. You know, it didn't happen. So, C CPR works, let's put it that way.